Hey, Star Wars fans, this is Urban Acolyte TV, and my name is Prince. I haven't done much on the various fan speculations floating around the web about Kylo Ren, Rey, and all these speculations about the Skywalker family in the new Star Wars saga. But I came across this post on the Collider Jedi Council Facebook group about Kylo Ren that I want to share with you all. And credit for this goes to Matthew Benvenuti. Now I'm not saying this is what I think at all. I'm only sharing this because it sums up what I've been seeing from you guys down in the comments section. So I'm using this video to kind of gauge where all of you are with your speculations about Ray and about Ben Solo. So Matthew wrote that Ben has always shown signs of being a force sensitive, but he's self-conscious about being weaker than the rest of the Jedi in the Skywalker family and Ben is known as Luke's nephew or Anakin's grandson. Ben Solo eventually becomes a student at Luke's Jedi Academy, and he's the equivalent of a legacy and is a strong force wielder, so it becomes well known amongst the students. While Ben is the top student, he still is incredibly self-conscious that he's not Skywalker strong. He tries to create an identity of his own and creates a group that refer to themselves as the Knights of Ren, and he gives himself the name of Kylo Ren. One day, a new youngling named Rey is brought in with no pedigree, but she could be a Kenobi, and it's clear that she possesses incredible potential. So seeing Rey's potential, Ben becomes incredibly jealous that his uncle Luke Skywalker is showing Rey so much attention and looking at her as if she might be his top student. Ben's insecurities erupt and he looks anywhere he can to find more power in order to become the strongest Skywalker. His pursuit leads him to Supreme Leader Snoke, who manipulates his insecurities to turn him against the Jedi, and he promises Ben the strength to rule the galaxy and to create a dictatorship that his grandfather Anakin wanted. Kylo and the Knights of Ren destroy what they believe is all of the Jedi Academy, as Snoke ordered, but Luke and his prized student Rey get away. Rey is planted on Jakku and she's wiped of her memories and realizing his mistake, Ben finds a way to fix that mistake. So during the movie, Rey is tapping more and more into her memories and force capabilities after Anakin's lightsaber triggers her repressed memories. Now Ben is still a powerful member of the First Order, but he constantly shows frustration when his power is brought into question or he fails. So Ben is triggered by the girl on Jakku and later is unable to control her mind and has to physically remove himself to get his act together when she locks him out of her mind and tells him that he'll never be as strong as Vader, which implies she instead went into Ben's head. So Ben still shows how he's being manipulated by the pull of the light side until he kills his father Han Solo, showing how he is being manipulated to gain something powerful in the dark side. And afterwards, when Ben is shot by Chewbacca's bowcaster, he's clearly injured. Had Ben been stronger, he would have been able to parry that shot away from the bowcaster. And while Kylo Ren fights in the snow, he's clearly wounded, and even though he disposes of Finn rather quickly, Finn still manages to land a solid blow on Kylo Ren. So Rey pulls the lightsaber harder than a hurt Kylo Ren is able to, but that shouldn't have affected his force ability. Rey is initially being bested until she lets the force take over and then quickly bests Ren in combat. Now the injuries played a part, but Rey seems to have bested a trained Skywalker legacy. A lack of elite force ability seems to be Ben's main motivation as a character. Now this was all written by Matthew, not myself, and Matthew concludes his speculation by asking for your opinions. Now although I've done a few videos on Rey, such as the 10 reasons Rey is not a Skywalker, I'm yet to share my actual thoughts on Rey or on Ben Solo or Kylo Ren however you want to refer to him. I will say this much about what I've just presented from Matthew's speculation. There's some clear holes that I see and I also see a lot of mistakes. I don't want this to turn into my critique of his speculation because I'm planning to do my own video 
where I'll cover my own thoughts on Kylo Ren's motivation, who I think Rey's family is, and how I believe she ended up on Jakku. For now, I'd like to hear from all of you. What do you think is Kylo Ren's main motivation? And do you believe Kylo Ren had anything to do with why Rey was on Jakku? If you do, I'd like to know why. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If this is your first time seeing Urban Acolyte TV, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. I cover fan speculations, the latest news for the Star Wars movies, and reviews for the Star Wars Rebel series. The best way to stay up on my latest videos is to subscribe. And I'm going to review the Rogue One trailer, and I'll be working on a video about how I believe Rey ended up on Jakku, and why I don't think she's a Skywalker. If you want to see more videos on the Star Wars movies, be sure to check out my reaction video to the Rogue One teaser trailer. Or you can check out an older video I did on the things you may have missed in The Force Awakens. Well, that's all I've got for now. Y'all keep on breathing, and may the Force be with you. Bye.